so we are back after waiting, agonizing moments of waiting. <sighs> waiting or oh, waiting? Honey is yawning. <laughs> oh, there's too much waiting. I think he's setting up his keys. I think Kimi 12 is at the shop. As we have Nada versus Lidon Dyer here, so once again I'm gonna tell you guys the lineups from Lidon Dyer. Kyuton X, Destroyer, you guys know him. Ice to Kill, Elastra, Lady, Isaac, Alvin Walker, Astro G, Gear Master, and Volk, The Guardian. <laughs> Oops, I forgot the PP. Uh oh. <laughs> and from Nada with Storm Moon, Smasher, Kimi Top, Destroyer. Nalesti, Tempest, Provoker, Guardian, and Kimi Ten, Game Master. So Nalesti. Nalesti. Hope you guys, you like the way I pronounce the name now. <laughs> you told me to pronounce it as Nalesti. Alright, now the players are still loading. As you can see, Stubborn Storm wins on the screen right now. Yeah, I see that too. <laughs> Stubborn Storm wins. From Cook to Grace. How oh, yeah, has two viewers. Yep. Oh yeah, I've got to announce. Let me announce again. <laughs> Why is there so many people on the viewers list? Don't know, 6 now. And we have Qton X going up against Nasty from the start. Tempers and Destroyer match up right away. Is so I hear Honey playing Nelson Vale? <laughs> no, no. Kidding. So goes in counter on a kickshot EX there for Qton X once again. Nanasty avoids the ring bombs here. You can see the buffs going up, the iron skin is up as well. Crisis House baited here as Nanasty gets away, avoids the Millstrom How as well. As the Empowering How is now over, no, that's the iron skin. It's gonna wait for the iron skin to finish. I mean, Empowering How gets caught by a multi shot here. Kick shot out of the circle swing here. Nice usage of iframes from Nanasty here. Didn't get caught by the How here. Flyer Vortex, but Flying Swing reduces the damage taken as the Bowman is out right now. Can Nellis to get out? No, she lags I believe as Air Invasion. She tumbles out of it right now. Avoids the Ring Bombs. This is trying to get her Hurricane Dance to hit at the moment. Nellis T, we are cheering you on right now. It's Qton X in a very good position here, 85% HP. It's kiting around now. Nice wooden attack on the Circle Shot counter. Spirit boost, we see Iron Skin, so Hurricane Dance cannot be hit. It can be hit, but he can just walk out of it due to Super Armor there. As you're gonna see, Empowering How up very soon once again. Circle Shot counter there. It's cover multi shot and a kick shot, yes, you're gonna see the Hurricane Dance on so Hurricane Dance no! right there. So a nice air evasion timing for Qton X once again. Nice, you gotta dive in. Ultimate timing and a big attack here, nicely done. As Qton X getting caught by the Spiral Vortex here. I think for a second as well. Nanasty avoiding the rolling attack with the circle shot as well. You see the crisis how timing here as the empowering how cancels the nasty energy as she's caught in a whirlwind. And Qton X takes Nanasty away. Whoops, I hit my mic, sorry. <laughs> Oops. So who will they send next from Nada? As right now, Lidon Dyer is in a good position. Kimi Tao of Destroyer is going up next. It's going to be a mirror matchup. We see the breaking point from the start. Dash blow countered. Oh, the breaking point breaks the flying swing there. Lucky breaking point for Kimi Tao. He had to pay the air evasion. It's supposed to get countered with a storm. It's own flying swing. It's no strong out cancel. It's circle swing as well. He gets silence here, 2 seconds on the silence, as it seems to be very laggy for him at the moment. He gets caught into a whirlwind. As you see Kimi Tao, 53% HP here. He rolls away. Hits by the ring bombs as well. As Qton X rolls in. His own silence avoided there. With Kimi Tao is in a very laggy situation here. As he gets caught by the whirlwind. Qton X is going for the 2 kills win streak. As you can hear Kimi Tao says, AG, I really he missed the L. And even the how to kill him in the end. Oh no. Kimi Tao taken away here. Two winning streaks for Qton X at the moment. No idea what that means. 
As you see, the Guardian going up against Qtenex. Nice Shinbreaker in, base the area evasion from the start. Aerial block is baited as well from Qtenex. Does this crash? Wonder with a nice flying swing here but gets caught by the electric smite and the lightning zap here. Provoker takes one for the team. It's gonna be crucial, he needs to take another one here. But I think they're gonna be sending out the Illustra here. If not, it's the, the Wind Walker, I believe. If not, they're gonna be sending Volk. Indeed, they send Illustra out here. Ice to Q, who did extremely well previously. See so the elemental aura being used. He needs to avoid the frost wind early on start. He jumps, gets caught by the frost wind, into the poison spray immediately. Even the icy step here. Glacier wave into, into freezing spots there, avoiding the, area, the electric smite and the justice crash from the area invasion previously. As Vyna provoking in trouble here, 35 33% HP left. The block is used. The ice spear will be coming out very soon, he needs to get out of that sticky situation here. His block counters are going down. He uses Guardian Force, but he can't get frozen, he got frozen here, he's in trouble right now. Gets caught by a Glacier Wave into Phoenix Storm, no, it's a chilling mist, Glacier Wave. But the Divine Avatar preventing the inevitable at the moment. But you can see Ice to Q, very healthy on the MP count. As Provoker, I'm not too sure if he can't heal yet. Just this crash avoided there, but Ice to Q as well. The heal is used right now. Avoid the Icy Sword, yes. Lightning Zap here is good, but he caught by Glacier Wave into Phoenix Storm here. It's gonna burn to death. Indeed, it is. His block was too little too late. As it's taken away. 2 4 right now. 2 for Nara and 4 for Lydion Dire at the moment. I believe Storm Wings. Yes, indeed, Storm Wings will be going up next. The Smasher here has a pull off a miracle here. As they do not have a sniper here. So if Storm Wing does well, he has a good chance of taking away a lot of opponents. Let's come by the Frost Wing here. Reactive Blink used well. It's gonna wait for the time stop to come very soon. Definitely, you can see Ice to Q. Waiting for it. Storm Wing's gonna go in. Blink just baits the Reactive Blink here. It's a good time to go in. By Blast. He gets hot kit caught by the Frost Wind. But the time stop connects on the time dodge here. As Ice to Q was lagging, I believe. Storm Wind's Night Hills laser flying out of nowhere as well. Avoids the flame spark here, it's buying time, avoids the freezing sword, that is extremely important here. The Lunar Ray EX killing and taking more HP 2% and Razor used wisely by Stormwinds defensively once again. And Stormwinds grab one, he needs to grab one more. Right now we see the Wind Walker here, Lady Aizaka, she needs to pull off a nice rising storm here. Or she can attack early on start, I think that's what she's trying to do. Reactive Blink used nicely by Storm Winds. The kick shot used wisely on the Nitro's laser as Storm Winds gets out of the Spire Vortex here. You know, Ray EX2 to the face. Void Blast avoided here. Time got shared into Time Stop, Lady Aizaka in trouble. You can see the Force Mirror there, oh, just a bit more for Storm Winds. Nightingale's laser, he can cause my rising storm! Oh! As Honey, not saying anything, I don't know why. <laughs> Hello, Honey? Hello? Hello? Oh, my Skype is lagging very badly. Okay. Hello, hello? Give me 10 now, the gear master. The goalkeeper at the moment here. The ping pong avoided. Bubble as well. That's to me 10. The spirit boost is used. As Kimi 10 is setting up his fortress. He's playing extremely defensively. He doesn't want to take any damage at all. As he only takes 2% damage here, that means he took 12% damage from the Rising Storm there. So 
so it's one to two right now. One to Nada and two that they don't die here. The lung is, I mean the lag is not on their side at the moment. A Valk can go either way for the Guardian here. This is gonna wait for the DA here as you can see Kimi Tan trying to trap him. The silence not finding the target as Valk. Vaughn backs away. Oh, get hit by the ping pong here. 10,000 damage, nicely done. And the Mecha Bomber here. You can see the Mecha Bomber still on my screen. Oh my goodness, Mecha Bomber on the head of Kimi Ten at the moment. <laughs> it's extremely cute. As we see him try to trap Vogue here, he traps here. Alfredo hit, get hit by the ping pong. And Alfredo stomp. He's waiting for a DA. Vaughn is waiting for a DA at the moment. As you can see, goes in with a nice shin breaker here, gets caught by the defensive wax. Divine Vata is used. He's going for the Justice Crash here. He's trying to bait. Oh, the Ishiko is used. But you can see Alfredo transitional damage here. Avoids the shin breaker here, but the Justice Crash avoided with a nice combo here from Kimi Ten. Avoids the electric smite as well. As right now, Divine Vata is going to be gone very soon. Nice shoot, charge to a lightning zap here. But you can see Alfredo coming close. The silence it hits. Silent connects. But I don't think Kimitel realized that. It hits by the gravity ball here. Gravity ball used bells. Well placed gravity ball grenade here. But the power not finding a target as he uses block five seconds on a block counter here. Bio chemical missile avoided here. But we see Skyline. The Garden Force uses trap at the moment. Mecha Bomber threw at him. Oh my right God. now. Gets caught by the gravity grenade as well. Oh, nicely done by Kimi Ten, the goalkeeper once again. Two winning streak. And the last member he has to fight is going to be also another Gear Master, I believe. Or is it an Adept? Let me check. Let me check. It's a Gear Master as well. Astro G. So right now, Astro G going up against Kimi Ten. I think it's 85% HP versus 100%. He throws the first down. We can see the ping pong coming up very soon. Is Kimi Ten oh, not Chad? <laughs> <It's Kimi Ten. laughs> I'm just hooked to Kimi Tao's name. Because the Ice Pump Tower is at the moment. Chainsaw Tower, it is a Chainsaw Tower here. Kimi Ten is lagging at the moment, I believe. 53% HP gets caught by Ice Pump Tower damage as well. As it slowed down, 2 seconds on the slow. He re summons back his Alfredo to block the damage here. Astro G is still at 100% HP. As he uses his ping pong, he's gonna get hit by a ping pong very soon. He avoids the ping pong, he stays out of range here. As right now, Kimi Ten is getting surrounded. You can see two ducks and one Alfredo chasing. Astro G is still at 100% HP. Gets caught by a stun from nowhere. Both the ducks are chasing him, but Alfredo transits no damage. Gets caught by the mecha shock here. As Nana, 40% HP right now. Gets caught by the mecha duck, she's in trouble right now. The ping pong is used. She rocket jumps away. As Astro G, 72% HP, I have no idea what's going on at the moment. Too many things happening. Use the ping pong on the Alfredo once again. But it didn't quite connect this time again. Astro G, 72% HP, gets caught by one of the chainsaw towers here, 60% HP right now. She rocket jumps close, nice bubble bubble from Kimi 12. Bio chemical missile here, 31% HP. You can see the ice bomb tower here. The ping pong is coming, he gets caught. Oh, oh. Kimi 12 comes on the back. <laughs> It's Kimi Ten. I'm sorry, Kimi Ten. I mean Kimi Ten. Sorry. <laughs> as we go into game two one right now, one zero Nunara as Kimi Ten grabs three winning streak here. So we are waiting for Kimi Ten to ready up at the moment as we go into game two. Two. Beep beep beep. <laughs> So Ronada continuing our momentum here to win the next game to the first victory in the league. Or is Lidon Zai gonna come for the back? Gonna find out very soon here. As they have Qton X, a very a very strong destroyer in Greenwood.
As you're waiting for players to finish loading, they're selecting the lamps right now, they should send storm winds. <laughs> Tom is jumping. Oh, Kimita of the destroyer going up against the Windwalker from the start. Hopefully Kimita doesn't lag so bad this time. You can see him wearing the L grid set of SDN here. He has the L grid set shirt, pants, and the X, I believe. Nice hunting how here. Circle swing hits as well into Millstrom how the Millstrom how is avoided with a nice barrel kick. EX iframe. Rising Storm is defensively is avoided as well from Kimi12. He's doing well this round. What's the spiral vortex, spiral kick continuation here? His iron skin is up in the moment, showtime is used. You can see Lady Aizaka, the shadow leap, flying around the arena once again. She's having fun. Maybe too much. How was used? She goes from behind, the spiral vortex connects, but I can see the whirlwind out. And Kimi 12 using flying swing there to avoid the ultimate damage there, reduced by 70%. Nice hunting how here. He based the urgency trick and a mil and a millstorm how here. And the Cyclonex catching here. Nicely done by Kimi 12 at the moment. As I believe Lady Asaka has been taken away. Indeed it does. Kimi 12 doing well this time round with lesser lag, I believe. Goodbye, Shar. Shara MC? Shara mate. Bye bye. Good night. As right now, I believe they're going to be sending Qton X definitely as a counterplay or oh, Ice to Q. No, they sent out a Guardian. Not too sure if this is the right choice. Nice shield breaker there to catch Mitao. He based the air evasion. Nice shield blow after that. As right now, Vaughn is in combo mode. His dive kick. Oh, not finding a target. But a stomach kick. No, the stomach kick not as well. As Mitao backs away here to buff up. He's going to play it safe. The block is used. Kimita waits for the iron skin. The block counter is at 0% but I can see stance of faith right now. The how didn't quite manage to cancel the stance of faith there. Go into silence. Relief will be used. Indeed it is. It's an empowering how. Storm counter to whirlwind. This is crash use as well. Into Lashing Smite here. Lashing Smite cancelled by a nice circle swing here. In the middle storm how and rolling attack combination here. Into Cyclone X. Vaughn right now in trouble as Kimita is set up for a 2 win streak. 24% HP left, into the- Oh, look at that! Manticore will win as well. Even the ring bombs- Oh, Kimi 12. Two winning streak here as Honey is extremely quiet. <laughs> Maybe he's not lagging anymore. Mm -hmm. But he's still testing the lag. The lag test. <laughs> lag test and test lag. Mm -hmm. Test lag? Question mark? <laughs> really? really? <laughs> As Elastra here, this is a good choice on the destroyer. Nice flying swing there, but oh, he gets four ticks from the freezing sword here. Gets caught in the poison spray. Oh, Crisis how is used wisely, but he still get caught. As he's rolling attack into, I think Kimita right now. He's bucked. He's back. He gets caught by a flame spark here. Newstrom how avoided by ice to Q. Nice shot wave here. Iron skin is used. He forcefully storms into the whirlwind here. As the ice wave is cancelled, I believe. Into the whirlwind. In the cycle next here as Ice TQ gets out. Why did he run back in? He wants to freeze his opponent here. I think that's, that's his game plan in mind. He traps his opponent once again, still do very well. As the rolling attack away from the poison spray didn't quite work as Ice to Q once again a pretty good Elastra here but you can see the mana pool is only at 45% So who's going to be uh, going to be the counterplay against the Elastra here? I think they'll be sending Storm Winds. I think that will be a good choice. Nope, they send the Guardian, also a pretty good choice as choice as well. With the elemental aura. It's caught by the frost from the start. Nice lane spark here into freezing swords once again. Good display of skill from Ice to Q. As he stacks his frost. The glacial wave in the freezing storm as well. Just a scratch avoided. Oh, the freezing field didn't quite manage to connect here. As the block was used by Provoker here. It's gonna buy time for DA. His electric smite. No, his lightning zap cancelled due to his block.
Ice to Q at 15% mana at the moment. So Provoker has a good chance. He sees that the shield is off. Electric Smites in. He got a lucky auto block there, I believe, as he goes into Divine Vata here. He still has Justice Crash, but you can see the Ice Cage being used. Does not bait the bling. Oh, the Justice Crash connects, 12,000 here. As Ice to Q in trouble at the moment. Nice bling here. Gets caught by the Lightning Zap. She's in trouble right now as the Freezing Shield is used to decrease the damage taken. Once again, beautiful Frost win. Look at that Glacier Wave into Chilling Mist. As the Shatter not connecting as well. 1% mana at the moment. Hopefully Provoker gets that. She has no mana here. She charges in, gets caught, makes the area vision into Lashy Smite. Lashy Smite avoided with a nice reactive bling. She just needs one more Glacier Wave and Phoenix Storm at the moment. Freezing Swords, 80% HP. Provoker gets caught by the Freezing Few here, but that's not max level Freezing Few. But the lag, Justice Crasher takes Ice to Q away. As right now it's 4 to 2, Nada in, in a very good position to take this away. 2 0. And the Destroyer Q to next up. Can you do a Kimi 12 here? To bring back two games for the team. I think Provoker is going to be taken away pretty quickly here by Q to next. He based the Shinbreaker right from the start. He relieves the opponent here. But nice, Justice Crash and Electric Smite. No, it's a bother by the quick attack here. As Q to next here with about 98% HP, I believe, or 95. Provoker taken away. Three players to two now. We need Q's next to take away another, and I think they're gonna be sending either the Gear Master or is it NST? So let's find out. I, I think NST is going up. Yeah. Nanasty should be going up. No, oh, it's not The Smasher is gonna be in trouble if you get caught too early. But it is Storm Wings, mind you, everybody. Gravity Ball used defensively, he baits the bling. Catch, he catches Storm Wings on the dash blow. Area Vision baits it as well. He avoids the Storm, this is good. But Storm wins, reactive bling cancel here, she's in trouble. She's gonna be taken away. As you're gonna be see, seeing the whirlwind after the Mistrum How. No, she avoids the Mistrum How with a nice reactive bling here. Laser used defensively here as Storm wins, lagging at the moment. Area bits out of it, she needs help. As you can see, the iron skin. No, taunting how! She no. gets taken away by Circle Swing. Nicely baited by Qtonex, but you can see that Storm Beast was definitely lagging there. So Nanasty has to go out now. I hope they don't send Kimi 10. But right now it's 2 2 once again. Could we go into game 3 tonight? Yup, Nanasty is going out here. It's gonna be hard to play if the game's lagging for our Tempest. Because iframes for Tempest is about split second decision here. A little too early, a little, a little too late, and you'll be caught. You can see the burning shot, he's getting caught right now. Doesn't seem to be attacking the right direction, but look at that nice booming kick here on the Spire Vortex. Surrogate Dance cancelled there. He avoids the Maelstrom Howl here nicely. He needs to do at least enough damage to connect. If not, his team will be in trouble here. He needs to take away q -tanx. If not, Kimi Tan, the Gear Master, will definitely be in trouble against q -tanx, a warrior dashing class. He's waiting for the Empowering Howl to be over here. Gets caught by the whirlwind. It's Mooncake and he's caught by a Cyclonex as well. He's in trouble. Oh, I can hear you typing. Man. She gets caught by the weak attack on the middle somehow here. Q to next in a 3 winning streak as you're possibly going to game 3. Skype just died, so we're gonna call this later on. But Kimi Tan against Q next at the moment.
Jetzt kommt einer da und kann ich nicht mehr in den Moment. Ich will jetzt auch nicht mehr zu gehen. Aber wo der noch bei Final Tage hier, der war so important. Let's give it, let's give the next 64% HP. He's gonna do a second act very soon with the Iron Skin up right now. Still dashing around. So the flash grenade here, this time I'll use to avoid the Millstorm Howl here. But is this is a counter attack, the relief is used. But the Millstorm Howl. The Empowering Howl here, Skimmy 10. It's in the whirlwind at the moment. She does not have the transitional buff from Alfredo. So go swing in to Taunting Howl as it's gonna be game 3 right now. So it's 1 to Nada and 1 to Dire at the moment. So I'm calling this again. Hello, honey. Hey, my Skype died just now. Okay. So game 3, hopefully the lag will be fair to both teams. As you can see, they are taking turns to lag at the moment. Selecting the lineups at the moment. We have Astro G, the Gear Master, coming up as the first player. No idea why it's an Astro G. But the Tempest is going up this time. But once again, as I mentioned, academic classes are usually not good to be sent as first player. Because they are usually used as a counter react class here. I can see Nanus T lagging very badly at the moment. Since just now, the first two games. She avoids the Ice Pump Tower there. Spirit Boost is used, she goes in. You can see the, the she goes very soon. As right now, SRG is being caught, air evasion baited. The Turkey Dance is used. On the, the Dark Pump Tower. Ultimate blocked. I mean, dodged by SRG here. 46% HP for SRG. He gets caught by the gravity grenade, used defensively here. Oh, he almost got caught by a bubble. He's getting caught by a lot of rubbish at the moment due to lag. Avoids the biochemical missile. As you can see, the Alfredo transition damage still up. Kings of Howard is still up. It's not gonna be wise to go in. She goes in. No, Astro G, I think she got hit by a chainsaw tower there. As Astro G takes the first game. Who are they going to be sending to counter? Is it Kimi 12? No, they sent a gear master to fight a gear master. Rocket jump. Look at that counter. Baby Jigo with Baby Jigo here. As right now. SRG has the upper hand. You can see the Shinsaw Tower used. Get caught by the bubble bubble here. The Shinsaw Tower is pounding on Kimi 10 at the moment. Gets caught by a ping pong as well. It hits by the recounter of the ping pong here. Gets caught by Icy Pump Tower here. 7% HP at the moment and the Bible Captain. Oh, so man. Kimi 10 is taken away. Why didn't they say Kimi send Kimi 12? So Kimi 12 definitely will be coming up unless they're sending storm winds. Yep, they send Kimi 12. Get hit by the rocket jump at the start. As you can see the fortress is already set up here. Just in the iron skin with the whirlwind at the moment I believe. But I need to watch out for the bubble bubble. If he gets complacent. Avoids the ping pong nicely. You can see the iron skin now. He baits the dodge with the chocolate waffle. Look at that baby Chico used well once again. Miss from how didn't quite catch the opponent again. But the cyclone exit. Even the air drop here, plus the air evasion from Astro G couldn't quite get him out. Ok, 
can we tell do a kill the next? I think they're gonna send kill the next immediately to counter him. Or maybe ice to kill if they are playing it safe. I think they will send ice to kill. Indeed they send ice to kill. Huge shot get caught at the start here. His air evasion is short due to the lag. He's still stuck at the moment. Gets caught by another frost wind. He's in trouble. His crisis how used at the right time. Base the reactive blink, but he gets caught from the reactive blink on the flame spark here. He's at 33% HP. Gets caught by the firewall as well. He's in trouble at the moment. Back into another poison spray. Let's use Milstrom how here to reduce the damage taken. But a whirlwind here will be enough. Shockwave in the freezing sword. Says oh. Ice to kill once again. Show us his powers. You need to take down two. It's gonna be difficult for them. Will Stormwind pull off a laser cutter miracle here? But I think they're gonna be sending on the Guardian. Provoker should be going up next. Indeed, Provoker. Flimber's there. Provoker gets caught. Once again, Ice to kill there. Very familiar with the combos here with the, the flinch on things back here. Just a scratch and electric smite! Oh, Provoker was just waiting for that moment, I guess. GG. As I believe the next player to be sent up will definitely be Kilsen X. No, let me see. Who do they have left? I can't really see at the moment. They have Lady Akzaka, Kilsen X, oh, and Bond. Huh? Well, they send a Guardian, yes. Counterplay here. It's gonna drag it out. As right now, Provoker has a 25% deficit on his HP, so if they drag it out, Bond definitely has a very good chance. <laughs> Gets caught by the Justice Crash and Electric Smite here. Oh, the Electric Smite went the wrong smite. direction. Pity for a Provoker there, I think his screen was lagging. He has another 11% HP to catch up. As the Stance of Faith is used. A Vaughn is taking ticks. the Guardian Force. This is Crash but no stun here. Electric Smite used but he gets stunned as he goes into Divine Avatar here. His own Divine Avatar will be coming up now. Indeed we see that. 69% HP against 65% HP. I think they're gonna dance here. <laughs> Let's provoke 5 seconds on his, di on his Divine Avatar. Voice the lightning zap wisely there by Vaughn. He heals back at 81% HP. I think Provoker's trying to wait. Oh, his Justice Crash connects into Electric Smite here. This is huge. He gets caught by the Justice Crash and Electric Smite as well. As Vaughn avoids the Holy Bolt there for jump. But I think Provoking, I mean Provoker's waiting for Aura Restoration. Heal. Just caught by the Mentical Gravity Ball here, but he's gonna heal right now, I believe. Indeed, he heals back more, 52% HP, but Vaughn used his heal earlier, so he needs to finish the game soon. If not, he's gonna be in trouble here. Justice Crash! The lightning that connects, he's down 90% HP, Vaughn in trouble right now. As Provoker knows, he gets out. So even if Vaughn heals up right now, he won't be able to catch up here. 19% HP, Provoker needs to play this smart and right to stand a chance for his team. He avoids the Shinbreaker here, Electric Smite! iframe use well gets caught by electric smite instead look at that Vaughn kills by the way attack <laughs> oh no <laughs> unfortunate for Vaughn as provoker to the 2 green streak I think they're going to be saving Qton X for the last man I think they're going to be sending out the windwalker here to do the rising storm finishing early on start or is Qton X going to be coming up next indeed they send a windwalker here Spirit Boost and Rising Storm here. Nice, nice shield breaker on Provoker from the start. Gets Eagle Dive. He's in trouble right now. Oh, it's gonna be taken away. No, Aero Block saves him. The Justice Crash avoided. He needs to let his smart iframe wisely now. Lang Zap collects on a Binding Shot. 
Rising Storm! Oh no. Takes away from Worker here. So we need to take down two Storm people. Storm wins. Now. I would say he has a chance definitely. The right time stop. If Storm wins doesn't lag, I think he stands a good chance. So right now, down to the last man here. It's not out, uh, Storm wins. Get caught by a bunny shot from the start. He saves the weight attack wisely. Laser not finding a target here. We're gonna see the reactive blink come very soon. The reactive blink will be crucial here. And I think Storm Wind knows. He actually runs to the spiral vortex. Look at that. Stacks the time stop. This is crucial. Come on, we need to see him go down. Indeed it is. Storm wins. <laughs> Bringing back to level terms once again. He waits for the, sh the time dodge there. So go into a time stop stacking, wisely done. So it's Qtanax against Stormwind in this 1-1 tiebreaker here. Whoever wins this last game will win the match overall. Nice defensive, but the normal attack not quite couldn't connect for Stormwind, unfortunate for him. His air evasion is baited here, his reactive thing is baited as well, he's in trouble right now. It looks like Qtanax is here to grab the victory, but the rolling attack didn't quite manage to connect, no, the moves somehow connect! Oh no! The Storm wins the win! Storm! It's taken away by Qtanax. <laughs> As the game goes 2-1. 2-1 to Dire in the end. Right now we have another match, um, we'll stop the livestream, we'll come back very soon. Bye bye!